What are you saying, ladies and gents? It is your boy, Bacat Sam. And yes, we are back again today for a special video. Today is my second leg quarterfinal predictions. Yes, there are some huge games going across on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I thought, why not give my predictions? But for that, guys, smash the like button and do subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get right into it. So our first game is at the Allianz Arena. It is Bayern Munich hosting Villarreal. And Villarreal really surprised a lot of people. We all know, obviously, under Unai Emery, they're going to be good in Europe. But no one expected them to get the result they did at home against Bayern Munich. A 1-0 win came from a Dan Juma goal. And Dan Juma, a player that obviously a lot of people uh, like me who watch a lot of the championship, sadly West Brom can't get out of the league. But that's beside the point. Dan Juma was amazing at Bournemouth last season. And I don't think anyone really expected him to hit the heights he has done at Villarreal. And I don't think anyone, when the price tag was mentioned and the amount of money that was thrown about for him, everyone thought, okay, now this is a really interesting one. Can he really go from the championship, a championship side that didn't even get to the final of the playoffs, got knocked out? Could they really step up and make it? And to be fair, Dan Juma has done it and he was absolutely class in that game. They got a good result. It was a very, very good performance. It was strong. It was solid. And you know you're going to get that. But going against Bayern at the Allianz Arena is going to be huge. It's going to be a really difficult performance for them. But if they carry on being resolute and defend well, they've got any, they've got every right to get a result from here. But I do think Bayern have still got that next step. They can go into that next gear. They've they haven't really shown that it's mental the fact they've got to the quarter final. I don't feel like we've seen the best of Bayern, and I still think they've got another level they can go up to, another way they can climb up and get a better performance. So I'm expecting a Bayern result here, and I think everyone is that. I think it, I know it's a safe thing to say, but I'm expecting them to get a result and a big result because they need to make and, and have a stamp on this Champions League. So I'm going to go for a 3 1 Bayern Munich home win, which will mean Bayern will go through into the semi-final. Now, onto the next game on the Tuesday night as well. We've got Real Madrid hosting Chelsea, and this was an absolutely mental game. I did really enjoy this game. Real Madrid going through 3-1 aggregate score into the second leg, and it was a Benzema hat-trick, and what a hat-trick it was. I think the final goal, though, came from Mendy, and I think the result doesn't really suggest what the game was like. Obviously, Benzema... We know he's world class and the goals he did score were class, but Mendy messed up. It was a poor goalkeeping error. And before, and not only that, Lukaku had two golden chances. One at the end, he was about six yards out, a simple header. If it had taken those chances, I know these are if, buts, and maybes, but this result could have been so, so different. Really, really different. It could easily have been 2 2 or even 3 2 to Chelsea. So I think Chelsea will go into this game, go into the Bernabeu with a lot of confidence, knowing that they can. They can get a result here because they they had the performance, they had moments, but they just need to be a bit more resolute with the defending and not take the unnecessary risks like they did with Mendy. But I do think personally, Real Madrid will come up come out on top on this. I'm going to go for a two one Real Madrid home win. Now on to the third game. This is the one that I enjoyed more than any other game purely because. I don't know what it was. I just love watching Diego Simeone's side. It's so interesting. A lot of people say, oh, it's dull. It's 11 men behind the ball. But it's quite interesting watching how they press and how they counter. Yes, they didn't counter too well. They had zero shots, which is absolutely mental. Man City dominated play, but Man City really struggled to break down this Atletico side. And not only that, they've got some big games. They had a big game against Liverpool in the league, which was another absolute cracker. But Pep Guardiola has got the squad that he can... He's got so much depth where he can rest players. So it's going to be a really interesting game. I do think Man City are going to go to Atletico and get a result here because Atletico, as much as they will sit back, I presume Atletico will sit for probably the first 60 minutes and then go for it in that last half an hour. Hopefully they can keep it down to a nil-nil and then take it to that last half an hour because that's what we usually see with Atletico sides. But I do think that will play into Man City's hands because when the game becomes more open, players like Mares or Grealish will have more space and De Bruyne will have more spray, space to operate in to do the things that they do, the creative style of play. So I do think Man City are going to win this one. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Man City away win. And then the final game at Liverpool, Benfica, aggregate score of 3-1 to Liverpool. And that was away from home. And this time at Anfield, you know what it's like in the Champions League nights midweek. You know it's like at Anfield, let's be honest. It's going to be an absolute cracker of an atmosphere. And I think Liverpool really should go through this unscathed. And I think... Benfica have done amazing to get as far as they have done, but this Liverpool side is just unstoppable at the moment. And you saw it against Man City this weekend. The thing is, I don't, I don't think they played very well against Man City and they still put two past them. It just shows you they've always got goals and that's one thing that they will bring in the many. I'm going to go for a Liverpool 2-0 home win. And that is it for my Champions League predictions, guys. Please smash that like button and do subscribe. Comment below your thoughts and everything about the Champions League. 
it's going to be a good. I'm absolutely buzzing for it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Book out, Sam. Over and out. Thank you. Goodbye.